You're watching Mustang News. Good evening, Mustangs. Today is Wednesday, October 1st. I'm Julian Delgadio. Mustang News starts now. Bengate has iPhone 6 users worried about putting their smartphones in their back pockets. Hundreds of YouTube videos have been uploaded showing how easy it is to do, and users have been complaining of their new iPhones bending in the middle. IPhone 6, iPhone 6 bending and I was like you know what that sounds so weird and so I clicked on it there was a video of a guy like testing like an iPhone he like was holding it and like trying to bend it. Apple closed the case last week saying it is a rare occurrence with only nine cases reported. Apple Care won't replace iPhones that have been bent on purpose. Students will have a chance to get free ice cream on a hot day tomorrow. Students will have the opportunity to go around to booths with a punch card and receive a free hot dog after they have gotten eight punches. There will also be raffles, prizes, music from all of your favorite artists and food from vendors like High Street Deli, Luis's Place, and Tea Berry. Doc Bernstein's Ice Cream Lab will be giving out free ice cream while students check out the local businesses. The event goes on from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Mott Lawn. Panhellenic recruitment is, successful, is successfully wrapping up after a long week of recruitment. Recruitment officially began last Thursday with meeting active sorority members from every house. Each day, the incoming girls and sororities narrow their options until they make their final decision Monday during preference night. Tuesday was full of celebration as each girl learned her new sorority in one of the biggest nights of the Panhellenic calendar, bid night. Fall recruitment is now over for sororities, but will begin again for fraternities next week. Go to deanofstudents.calpoly.edu for more information on how to join. The new inter-housing program president wants to expand Cal Poly's residents' knowledge about campus living. Zia Absar, the new IHC president, feels that not enough students are aware of who the IHC is and what they can do for them. However, Absar said since the IHC represents nearly all 7,000 campus residents, it is important that students know how to, they can get involved with their representatives. You can use IHC for many things, for advocacy, for support, for programming, whatever you want. If you have a new idea, you can come to IHC and IHC can help you. It's not just that IHC plans for itself and plans for the residents, but the residents can come to IHC. Although Absar said she has no immediate changes planned for IHC, her ultimate goal is for residents to feel united and safe. Through the study abroad program, students can learn by going. The Study Abroad Fair will be hosted on Dexter Lawn Wednesday, October 2nd from 10 to 2 and, will, and students will be asked, able to ask questions on their Study Abroad futures. Students hosting catered events on campus no longer have university catering as their only option. Woodstock's Pizza, Pluto's, Splash Cafe and Firestone Grill are among the list of approved campus caterers that can now serve on campus. Melissa Swanson, Risk and Contracts Analyst, said that the Cal Poly Corporation initiated the policy after realizing not all catering needs could be met if the university was the exclusive caterer. They felt that the campus needs were very diverse and that they weren't able to meet everything. And so they approached the Council of Divisional Vice Presidents on campus with the idea of opening it up, you know, on a limited basis. Swanson said once the approval for policy changes expires in a year, the policy will be examined to see if changes are needed or if the policy is worth keeping. And moving on to weather, Wednesday night will be a nice and clear with a low of 56. Thursday morning will heat up quickly with a high of 93 and winds up to 15 miles per hour. Thursday night will remain clear with a low of 56, so don't forget to bring a towel, or a, not a towel, I'm sorry, a jacket. But uh, that about wraps it up for the Mustang News this Wednesday. You can tune into our weekly half hour broadcast that's on Charter Channel 19, UHTV Channel 7, and Campus Channel 4.1. You can also find constant coverage on mustangnews.net. Have a great day, Cal Poly.